Well, over the past 10 or 15 years, our understanding of diffuse large B-cell lymphoma has been significantly refined, and um, much of this is as a result of work done by Lustad and the Lymphoma and Leukemia Molecular Profiling Project. And whereas a number of years ago we thought of diffuse large B-cell lymphoma as being one disease, they defined a new molecular taxonomy for diffuse large B-cell lymphoma. And we now recognize that there are at least three molecular subtypes of diffuse large B-cell lymphoma. Germinal center B-cell-like diffuse large B-cell lymphoma, activated B-cell-like diffuse large B-cell lymphoma, and primary mediastinal B-cell lymphoma. And this is important because with standard therapy, the outcome um, of these disease subtypes is different. And uh, for, for the most part, these diseases are approached um, in a similar fashion at this point in time. Uh, but in the future, it's likely that uh, these subtypes will be uh, managed differently. And um, there's uh, much effort in research investigating novel agents in these individual subtypes and novel treatment approaches in different subtypes of diffuse large B-cell lymphoma.